So today, let's talk about the current unicorn bags from the Kurt Geiger collection. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, proud to have you here. For those of you who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to some slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are as an individual. Loving yourself and loving others, I think it's the most important thing. So what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about the current unicorn bags from the Kurt Geiger, ugh, Kurt Geiger collection of which there are many might I add. And one of the reasons I absolutely love Kurt Geiger is because I think they make incredible items in very beautiful variants at a really reasonable price point. So if you want something that is just that little bit outside your comfort zone, something that's in a material that maybe you don't feel comfortable spending hundreds and thousands of pounds on, consider Kurt Geiger. I think it's a great option for you. The quality is really good. I have four of their bags and I am incredibly happy with them. They do them in a range of different sizes. And today we'll be talking about everything from the micros through to the macros. So we've got a range of stuff for you and I really hope you enjoy this list. So just as an FYI, I am going to, uh, to jump between Selfridges and um, the Kurt Geiger site itself because actually they seem to have different items and I'll be honest in terms of unicorn bags Selfridges I think was my favorite I think there was more on there that I would buy than there was from Kurt Geiger itself which I find a little bit funny I'm surprised that Kurt Geiger don't have the full collection themselves there were things that I haven't seen in Kurt Geiger itself that I was seeing at Selfridges so I don't know if those are exclusive Selfridges do have a range of Selfridges exclusives but those tend to be labeled to such so I don't really know if that is why there is this difference in stock all I know is that I was loving a lot of the pieces in Selfridges but let's kick things off with the micro Kensington 49 pounds 69 pounds I think it differs depending on where you get it from this bag is adorable you know we all hear from Cassie about TBE and I know that tiny bags are really really making the rounds look at Dale's adorable little speedy charm that could also be used as a genius little bag that maybe you could put like a mint in but they are so so cute and Kurt Geiger do their own variant and this is one that could be worn crossbody because it has a long strap that's attached to it. You could wear it crossbody. You could maybe wear it as a necklace if you wanted to. They do it in a few different colours. There's a beautiful rainbow. There is a gold and there is a hot pink, a magenta, all of which are lovely, really good fun, just something a little bit different, something that maybe gives you a similar feel to the uh, Jacques Mousse Le Chiquito or the Micro Le Chiquito, um, but for a much more reasonable price. This one I was obsessed with simply because of the colour and the mixture of the colour and the hardware. And this is the mini soft Kensington in this beautiful shade of lilac with the stunning silver hardware. This is a beautiful little bag. The, the way that the hardware complements the leather of this bag is stunning. What a gorgeous colour. Purple has really been doing the rounds um, in terms of a it colour for items, for accessories, for bags. And this bag really does it justice. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a reasonable price point. The mini, I think, is a really cute size if you just want to take your essentials out with you. The one thing that I would say with the smaller Kensingtons that's just something you need to be aware of is the fact that they don't have the strap that goes through the central divider. They just have a singular pocket and I think a pocket on the back um, or on the back inside. Um, and they don't have a they don't have a strap that runs through the central divider so it's not a strap that you double up it is essentially a crossbody bag but of course you could tuck the um the strap in and make it more of a shoulder bag if you wanted to i think correct me if i'm wrong you might have to do that with chanel minis um and other small flat bags so just something to be mindful of i don't have any of the mini sizes therefore i can't speak to the space and what that looks like for them i only have ones that have double straps 
but this is a beautiful item, a reasonable price point, and if you're looking for a bag that fulfills that kind of purple hype that we've been seeing, this could absolutely be a fab one for you with a beautiful hardware option alongside it. Another mini Kensington that I think just depicts unicorn. It is silver, it is gorgeous, this silver glitter. This would be a showstopper to any outfit and I think this is the type of bag that you could wear formally. You could tuck the chains in and wear it as a clutch. You could double up that strap and use it as a shoulder bag. You could wear it crossbody and even then you could wear it with more casual outfits. You could maybe wear it with jeans and trainers and a jacket. Or like I said, you could wear it incredibly formally with tailoring, with a beautiful dress, with a great jumpsuit. You know, whatever you wanted to do, you could with this bag. I don't think that glitter is as impractical as people think it is. I think it's a very versatile fabric. You have to be a little bit careful that it doesn't um, peel off in any way or that it doesn't rub off. But in terms of the styling of it, I actually find it to be a very versatile fabric and it can just add an element of formality to what would otherwise be a slightly more casual look. And you can potentially pick up, you know, other flex of other accessories. So let's say you're a big fan of Golden Goose sneakers and you love the glitter on those. Why not pair this bag with a pair of Golden Goose sneakers that also have a glitter element to them that have a silver glitter element? That way you've got some continuity. I think that would be fabulous. This is a beautiful item. They also do it in gold one to definitely consider. Okay, let's break up the kind of flat bags and let's talk about this beautiful pink crystal encrusted camera bag. A very practical style. This is beautiful. It is soft. It is elegant. I just love the way that this would glitter. I love the fact that they have combined the pink hardware with the pink emblem, with the pink crystals, with the pink backing fabric. This is just Barbie gloriousness at its finest, but it would be very practical because it is a crossbody style, which I know a lot of people like. And also it will be very easy to get in and out of because you have that zip that runs across the top. So it would would tick a lot of boxes I think and again in a similar way to that in a similar way to the silver Kensington you could wear this in a number of different ways you could use this as the element of formality to an otherwise more casual or more simple outfit with a bit of bling behind it alternatively I think you could also wear this more formally tuck that strap in hold it as a bit of a clutch it could be absolutely beautiful again personally would I buy this I don't think I would because the, the style doesn't work for me. However, do I think it's beautiful? And if I saw someone wearing it on the street, would I immediately go, Ugh. absolutely I would because it is a showstopper and it's about 150 pounds. You know, where can you buy bags that have this level of glamour to them for these price points? Other than Kurt Geiger, there really isn't anywhere that does it quite as well, you know, as Carly Simon said for her James Bond theme, nobody does it better. Love that song. Movie, meh, song, top draw. Loved it. Anyway, moving on. You know I love a Kensington double XL flap. And guess what? In terms of unicorns, there are two. The one that I was initially drawn to on the Selfridges website was this beautiful oil slick and I loved the oil slick hardware. I think it's absolutely stunning. Do I think the oil slick works quite as well across the body of the bag? There's too much yellow, I think for me. Um, I wish that it was slightly more evenly distributed in terms of the colours that were embedded within that oil slick, but I can completely appreciate what they were trying to do. This looks like it's in more of a patent type of leather. It's high sheen, it's high impact. This is a very practical bag. I have two double XL flaps. I cannot recommend them enough. I have used them as work bags, day bags, evening bags. I think they are beautiful. This one is stunning and I really do love that oil slick hardware. I think that is really the showstopper here. Absolutely stunning. The next double XL flap that is quite frankly my highlight of this whole list and has very quickly gone onto my wish list and I, next time I'm in London, I think I need to go to Selfridges and pick it up, is this stunning rainbow drench. This is gorgeous, stunning. What a showstopper, what an eye-catching piece. Love the rainbow, I think that's beautiful and that's a signature motif from Kurt Geiger. They love a rainbow, we love them for it. 
love that support. But what I was really drawn to with this was the was the colours that they'd used within that particular rainbow, plus the fact that the hardware was this stunning, like, lime, acid, green, yellow. Would you say that's green or yellow? I lean towards green. What do you think? Would you say it's more of a yellow hardware? Regardless, it's fantastic. It is so fun. This is not a bag that I would wear formally. No way, no sir. However, would I absolutely wear this with a great kind of jeans, t-shirt, puffer jacket outfit? Absolutely. Would I wear this with an all black look? 100%. This is incredible. It is so beautiful. It is so my style. You can tell I'm excited about it. I really love this. And it's £320, which again, for this size of bag that's in leather, that is well made, that comes from a brand with good CSR, that has impeccable service, customer service and support, what more can you realistically ask for? I appreciate this won't be everyone's taste. Absolutely I do. But if you love bold, vibrant, fun, oh, these are magnificent. No other word, magnificent. And you know, I would probably give the oil slick a 7 out of 10 because the body of the bag lets it down for me. This, I'm sorry, I think this is a 10. I think this is a 10 and I think I need to own it. I was saying about buying an Aspinall bag. I think I'm going to have to put that on the back burner. I've got another, I've got another Kurt Geiger purchase to make. Lucky number five. Love it. This is beautiful. Just, just so you're aware as well, I've shown you the double XL flap sizes here. They do both of those in smaller sizes as well. So you do have options. Um, but I'm all about, you know, bang for your buck. And I love the fact that you can get the bigger sizes. And it's about £70 difference between a medium Kensington and a double XL. I'm going for the double XL. I think it's well worth it. Four bags left. This one is a subtle one. And it's a bit of a crossbody, it's a bit of a clutch, it's a bit kind of wallet on chain-esque. And what I liked about this was that it had the beautiful ridging that made it, made it a little bit different. So it's one of those bags that maybe from a distance you wouldn't see the detail, but as you got closer you could see how intricate it was and you could see the detail that sits behind it. I think that makes a really successful item. My Kurt Geiger um, medium flat bag with the sequins is very much that. It looks a little bit drab from a distance. You get close to it and you can see the beautiful multicolor beading and sequins. That makes it all worth it. And this would be the same. I also think this would be very, very practical. Would this be a casual bag? Probably not. Probably something that would be more on the evening circuit for you. And they do do it in a rainbow as well. So you do have this more muted ridged version, but then you also have the rainbow version as well. So there are a couple of variations there for you. It's at a reasonable price point. I think it would be quite hard wearing. And it's just a nice, it's a nice bag. There's nothing that you could say about it to go, oh, it's horrible. The shape is nice. The fab, the kind of print and all of that good stuff. It's, it's a nice, it's a nice item. Wouldn't be one on my, on my list, but... I think it's a beautiful piece nonetheless. Now we were talking about oil slick earlier and how the hardware is the standout. They make the most beautiful mock crop Kensington and they do this in the medium size. They did it in a mini as well, but I think that it's only the medium size now, but it has the beautiful black mock crop with the oil slick hardware. This is simply glorious. And when I've spoken to my sales associate every time I've gone in, I've said to her, please tell me they're bringing that out in the double XL. Please tell me they're bringing it out in the double XL. She's like, no, I'm not sure that they are. She's like, I don't know, but I don't think so. I haven't seen it and I haven't heard it. And I'm like, please, please call someone and say, do you have a scrap of fabric that you can make a double XL flap out of that mock crock with the oil slick hardware? I will pay more for it. It is so beautiful. I have thought about this size, but it's about 270 pounds. I can't justify that for a bag that doesn't work perfectly for me. I paid 170 for my sequin, which again is lovely, but doesn't work perfectly for me. I can, I can swallow that price point for a seven out of 10. I cannot swallow 270, 300 pounds for a seven out of 10 bag. It's just not worth it to me. Um, so I do kind of rank them and think, what, what am I prepared to spend on how much I'm in love with it? So that's the only thing here for me, but I think it is beautiful and the hardware is so stunning. The print is so gorgeous. I've seen it in the flesh. The emblem is also oil slick. It is quite literally stunning. If you are looking for a mock croc medium Kensington, 
I cannot recommend this one enough. I think it is glorious. It is just not the one for me. I just wish they brought it out in a bigger size. Rather than bringing out that full oil slick one, bring this one out in an oil slick. Oh, bring this one out in the double XL. So good. It's so good. Just the wrong size for me. So, but beautiful bag nonetheless. Mm. Stunning. So I totally forgot to say, yes, I'm editing my duvet. Um, I totally forgot to say, Kurt Geiger bags are Paris Hilton approved. They've been featuring extensively on Paris in Love. I haven't been watching it, but I've been seeing it on Kurt Geiger's Instagram. So they're PH approved. There we go. Love it. I'm in between two as my next purchase because part of the challenge that I have with the double XL flap is that they don't fit a laptop. And actually, whilst I'm talking about that bag of the day, Longchamp Rousseau, been in the office, has all of my stuff in it. What's been great is that I've used this strap to house those keys. I've then used this strap to house my car key. It's been great. Love this. Check out the review. Love it. Um, my biggest gripe with the double XL flap is I would love to use them more for work, but I have to carry a separate laptop case, which is fine. I do do that. It's not the end of the world, but I would prefer a bag that I can throw everything into. And that's where some of my long shot bags pip it to the post. Therefore, what I'm really considering and is maybe a more sensible purchase than the rainbow double XL flap is the beautiful, soft, pillowy Kensington Macro flat bag, which is huge. It is 49 centimeters. So bear with. So let's think about the fact that this is 36 centimeters. And this is a big old bag, right? This is 40 centimeters. Put another quarter on top as a flat bag. That is a big, big bag. I think that's probably Chanel flight, the kind of overnight bag size. This with like this. Here we go again with this, with the hands, the size hands. But that is a big old bag. But the benefit of that bag would be that it could fit a full size laptop in it. Because my laptop is a 16 inch laptop. So that would be a real benefit to me. And I absolutely love this blush colour. They previously only did it in the black, which would be very versatile. But I, I just wasn't in love with it. Um, however, this blush I think is absolutely beautiful. It would go very well with my wardrobe. Imagine this blush with what I'm wearing today. Fabulous. That would be beautiful. I just think that would be a very, very versatile piece. And although it's not a unicorn in terms of the glitzy, show-stopping nature of it, the size of this bag I think makes it a really impactful piece. It is 50 centimetres pretty much across. That is huge as flat bags go. So that will be a huge impact. It would be a great day bag. It could be a great, you know, running errands. If you've got loads of stuff, you can throw it over your shoulder. You know, I know that I see videos where people talk about diaper bags, etc. You could use it as a diaper bag. You could wear it cross body over your shoulder, whatever you needed, throw everything in it. So I think this might be the more practical purchase. Mm. Yeah, this is a heart over head piece. But the thing is, I do still love the macro. So it's not like I'd be getting something I didn't love, but my heart really is drawn to that very vibrant rainbow piece. And I've spoken multiple times about how much I love the rainbow from Kurt Geiger. So I do feel like maybe that's something that I need to add because I don't have a rainbow piece from Kurt Geiger in my collection. So I think maybe I need that in some, that's such a lie. I have the card holder. I have the card holder. Do you have a rainbow bag? So this is beautiful, it's about 380 pounds, which for the size of it is really good value. Okay, and now let's end on a true, true beauty. Similar to the glitter silver piece, but this is blue sequins. And when I watched, when I saw this, when I watched this, when I saw this, all I could imagine <laughs> was the Devil Wears Prada moment with the belts. And I was just imagining them holding up this bag alongside another blue and having that same conversation. This is beautiful. This is so intricate, so elegant, so, oh, it's fabulous. The colour is gorgeous. This kind of cobalty, cerulean, Oh, it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. You could wear this. I'm really imagining this with denim. This with denim or a blue outfit and throw this on over the top. Just adds a little bit of pop to an outfit. 
I just think it's glorious. I'm absolutely in love with this. The, the reason that this wouldn't make its way home for me is because of the size of the bag. It just doesn't work the best for me. But I know that I'm a little bit strange in the sense that I love big bags. And I know that's not for everyone. And I know that's not fashion at the moment. Although I do think bigger bags are coming back. But I know that big bags aren't really fashion. Particularly not 40 centimetre type bags. But this this is gorgeous it is beautiful and it could be worn so in such a versatile way it could be worn over your shoulder it could be worn cross body it could be worn handheld and you can i've i've spoken about this before but you can wrap the chains alternatively let's see if it'll let me do it alternatively just kind of tuck them in like that no different to any other flat bag this does the sorting hat look at that it's like Gryffindor! Gryffindor! To be fair, I see myself as more of a Ravenclaw rather than a Gryffindor. Ravenclaw! Oh, we're losing it. Okay. So this isn't the most sturdy way of doing it, but of course, once the bag is filled with stuff, that weighs it all down. But you could top handle these if you wanted to. So there is versatility in the way that you could wear these items. You just need to make a decision as to which one works best for you, but they are absolutely beautiful. I am loving the elaborate collection. I think it's absolutely fabulous. These could be worn all seasons by all individuals. Stunning. And Kurt Geiger is not an exclusionary price point, and I love that about it. I really do love, as you know on this channel, accessible luxury because I am such a big believer that luxury is in the eye of the beholder. It is how something makes you feel. It is how the material feels. It is the excitement that it gives you when you pick it up. It's the way that it makes you feel when you're using it. That does not mean that it has to carry a £10,000, £5,000, £1,000 price point. I have items that make me feel better that cost significantly less than other things. They make me feel more special. They just make me happier inside. And that's a self-validation piece for me. That's not about what other people perceive. I am sure that people, you know, will look at this and not think that it's the most glamorous thing in the world. I love this. And this makes me feel amazing when I carry it. I think it's gorgeous and I it's beautiful. It just makes me smile. It makes my heart happy. That's luxury. That's luxury. This didn't have to be three grand to give me that feeling. I spent 250 quid on this and it makes me feel that way. That's true luxury. And the way that the sales associate makes you feel, the way that you feel when you're shopping there, do you feel trusted? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel embraced by the brand? That's luxury. Not you rock up, spend 3K and they treat you like shit. I'm fortunate, I've never had that experience, but I know people that have. So that's not luxury. <laughs> Big price tags aren't luxury. It's how it makes you feel. Anyway, there we go. That's my thought on that. I could do a whole video on all of that. If you wanted to see my thoughts on what true luxury is, in my view as I see it, then do let me know. Uh, do let me know. But for now, that's it from the Kurt Geiger unicorn bags. Let me know if there are any that you own, any that are on your list. What are you fancying? Is the glitter, the glamour your thing? Are you into the more muted versions? You know, I have more muted versions myself. This, switch it around. We'll never clue that it has a big eagle on the front of it. So there are options available. You can buy whatever is right for you. They do so many and I cannot recommend them as a brand enough. I think they are wonderful. Anyway, Thank you so much as always for watching and I look forward to seeing my next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.